Well, hi everyone. Um, as Laura said, my name is Monica Mustaine. Uh, I'm 21 years old. I've been born and raised in Ekankar, and I'm a geology major at ISU, and I'm really excited to be here to share this story with you guys. Um, the talk is about seeing the blue light, and I was in a car accident uh, about a year and a half ago where seeing the blue light was really important to me. So. The details of the car accident were my friends and I, there were five of us in a small Honda Civic. And we're driving into Chicago to get something to eat. And it was the summer and it was a beautiful day outside. And as we're driving, the best way I can describe what happened was the driver started yelling and the car started to spin. And I felt a crash on the car. And I was like, okay, you know, we're in a car accident. I was fully prepared, you know, I'm, I'm okay, we're in a car accident. So the next thing that I wanted to do was look out the window. The car is spinning, and I wanted to know where we were going. So I turn to my right, and I look out the window, and I see the grill of a semi-truck coming at the car. And I knew in that moment, you know, this semi-truck is going to hit us. And my reaction was to start singing Hugh. And in Akinkar, we're very used to the hue sounding, you know, peaceful and relaxed, which is really nice. <laughs> but sometimes you just got to sing hue. And if that's, you know, gripping onto your seat with your eyes closed as tight as you can and going hue, 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 hey, sometimes you just got to sing hue. <laughs> um, so, and as I started singing hue, I surrendered the situation of the Mahanta. I understood that whatever was gonna happen when this truck hit was what needed to happen. It was gonna be the best for me spiritually and the best for all involved. And I was ready. And I can't exactly say I was totally calm knowing that, but there's definitely a sense of, I have the Mahanta here with me and you know I'm going through this, You know he's with me and I'm not alone. So I'm closing my eyes and singing the hue and like waiting for this truck to hit, waiting for this truck. And I kind of peeked my eyes open just as the truck slammed into the car. We were dragged about 10 feet and then it was over. You know, we were, we were done moving and the car had stopped. My friend looked over at me. He put his hand on my shoulder and asked, you know, are you okay? And then he looked out the window and goes, that, that's a semi truck. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's a semi truck. Um, and so we all got out of the car and we looked and we had been just fine, which no one was hurt, you know, all five of us in this small car and we were fine. And I was really grateful, to be honest. I was so happy that, you know, that we were all okay. So later that night in contemplation, oh, there's, oh, yeah. <laughs> so later that night in contemplation, I, you know, I thank the Mahanta, you know, thank you for letting me have this experience. And I asked him, you know, what, what do I need to learn from this? And, and that was, you know, that was the end of it. You know, I asked him, you know, and just put that thought, you know, what do I need to learn from this experience as I fell asleep and went, to, went into the dream world? And that night I had a dream where I was up above the semi and I was watching the car spin, the car that I was sitting in, and I'm watching the car spin, and I started, I, I noticed the moment when I started to sing Hugh, because I had this blue bubble just come out from where I was sitting, and it surrounded the whole side of the car from where the semi-truck was gonna hit. And I was watching that as soul going, hey, that's pretty cool, you know? And I was so grateful to be able to see that. And I woke up the next morning, and. Just, I thought about that, you know, how powerful that was, that the egg is there. And I might not have seen it the moment the car accident happened, but I knew it was there. And, yeah. In Ek and Car, we practice, we practice the spiritual exercises of Ek. These spiritual exercises help us become a greater channel of love for Ek, the Holy Spirit. They can be seen as the light and sound, which includes the blue light, which is what I saw. And for me, this experience really showed, you know, showed me that I carry the act with me everywhere I go. And the more I practice my spiritual exercises, 
the stronger that this act and this blue light can flow out of me, whether it be used for protection or used to you know, calm my nerves in a situation where I'm really nervous or afraid or anything. And it might not be very dramatic, you know. I, after this accident, I started to see the blue light in my life more and more. And I'm not, you know, I'm not in more car accidents, but I'm able to see the blue light in almost everything that I do, whether it be the smile of a friend or, you know, I'm just walking down the street and, you know, more smiling from at random people. That's really fun. Um, so thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your seminar.